Hi guys, good morning. How are you all doing? I hope you are all doing fine. I'm also doing good. Yeah, we are welcome back to Accra. <laughs> yes, for a minute, we've been in the water region for some time and we are back in Accra and all of you welcome back to Accra okay it's a beautiful morning about 10 a.m in the morning and why not i decided to come out and check out the environment in accra you guys you can see where i am we have this company and a whole building called the Cop. we have properties here for rent and sale yeah and this is kingdom wine yeah so guys welcome back to my channel okay welcome to another vlog wow look at these beautiful doves i really do love doves when i was younger i was staying with my grandma in pong okay she read a lot of doves and they were really beautiful we had to serve them with corn every morning and do you know that doves represent good luck right so yeah in my village and staying with my grandma we prepare to rear a lot of doves okay here is my beautiful niece i'm here today with my beautiful niece her name is adam or rose her Ghanaian name is adam and then will you say hi adam oh no hi hi that's not good eh and then say hi. Hi. <laughs> you know, she came to me about how many weeks ago? She left home. She doesn't want to say hi, so I am coming to tell you what she did, okay? She left home without uh, uh, telling her parents. She left home when she, and she said she was going to meet a friend for a job, a job that she doesn't know anything about and she doesn't know where the friend stays. The friend just gave her directions and then she decided to go without even telling her parents where exactly she was going. She told her parents she was coming to Accra, right? And then she goes to Accra, the friend apparently lied to her and she had to board another car to go for it, yeah. And the friend told her the job that she was going to do was kind of like a sales job in a, in a supermarket. But when she got there, it was all lies. It was a network marketing kind of job. And when she got there, she was pissed off. She didn't know what to do with herself. When I called her friends and I was even interviewing them, like what kind of job, they were all lying to me. So she decided to come to me. When she came, to, she was like, oh, I said, I want to work, uh, gather some money for myself and rewrite my papers. And I'm like, in this Accra, which work are you going to get? to do which job are you going to do to raise money to pay for remedials and i decided to take it but now we are here to check whether we we'll have good morning we we'll want to get a kiola so we just want to check if we we'll get it this is kingdom bookshop good morning please can i take it inside So we are at Kingdom Bookshop. I want to find out if the price for Akiola. Hello, good morning. Um, please, do you have Akiola call man? I want to load up guys. So yeah, we want to, I'm here to get her some books for her studies and this is Kingdom Bookshops and this are the kind of books that is sell here. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Yes, I'm at you. 200 cities. Jesus, I can't like that I bought how 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 much did I even buy? I didn't know that was a long time ago. Yes, please. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, this one you have to save money for it. What about the integrated science too? Okay. 
Wow, these are the books are really expensive. But which is the best? Which kind of brands do you have, like for SHS? We used to have A plus. A, a plus. plus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one, the A plus. Mm -hmm. That one is like. Uh, Ask questions. Ah, okay. Like, uh, that's how they do. Ask questions. Ask questions. Okay. Do it subject by subject. Mm. Acula is basically something they do with topics and then after they will solve questions. Wow, okay. I don't want to see myself. Alright. <laughs> but they can hear my voice. They can hear your voice that yeah, one. <laughs> Alright, it's on me. Mm, okay, then I'll come back. Thank you. Uh, please, so that's window. Notebook, I have a me playing each other. 54 series. That's fine, let's go. Guys, let's go. I want them to check the price for Akula Intercess. <laughs> Guys, so we just came here to, you know, compare the prices of the textbook that we are supposed to buy. She's rewriting all her high school papers, like a re kind of like a remedial. She's writing a remedial, right? So she needs an integrated science textbook and uh, mathematics precisely core mathematics she's doing what course are you doing okay she's reading general arts she's reading general arts so i took her to when she came and she wanted to go to the school she wants she wanted to go to the remedial school i took her to the best the best that i know of because they are really good and their students really do well in their wasi um remedials that was the reason i wanted to go there and my colleagues who went there did so well like because the teachers are really serious they take the student studies and teaching very seriously so that was why when she came although i didn't have enough money the little i had i took her there so that she can just have the best because i think she's an intelligent girl very pretty miss ghana so i just wanted to have the best like the best of the best yeah so i'm taking it to right now we went to kingdom bookshop kingdom bookshop uh, as you can see from that place the core mathematics is going for 200 cities and the science to 200 cities that is 400 ghana cities which is almost like 40 40 dollars so one of the textbook is twenty dollars so the two is 40. oh my god those books that we used to buy like five cities in those days when i was in school <laughs> but now <laughs> it is 200 cities incredible so we have checked the price here we are going to the biggest market in accra right now we are going there to also check how much they also are selling it and I, I want to compare the price and get the best for myself hey I should go. How are you? Market. You are now coming. What? Thank you. I'm going to buy her um, a textbook. It's book for school, so. Okay. All right. I'm back. So. <laughs> All right, guys. So, yeah, I'm heading to the market, precisely the bookshop, to find out the price for the books there too when i compare the one that is cheapest that's the one i'll come for so yeah let's go i'll get back to you when we get to the independent square right yeah all right guys welcome back so we are around the black star square 
Hello. My niece wants to see this place, given that this is her first time in Accra. Most of the time when she's hey, in Accra. My first time in Accra. That was what you told me. Oh. Okay, she's been in Accra, but she's not been here, right? How many times have you been in Accra? Like two times. Two times. The first time, what did you come to do? Okay. <laughs> huh? I came for an excursion. You came for an excursion? Me <laughs> too. You came for an excursion. So where did you go when you came? Went to the parliament house. Mm -hmm. Found the Kuma Museum. Uh -huh. And then to Osu Castle. And Osu Castle. Guys, listen to her voice. So like a baby's voice. I'm asking her to match her voice. <laughs> her voice is so thin. Anyways, me, I was thinking that this is her first time in Accra okay but yeah she's saying that she's been in Accra before and she's been to the museum and the parliament those two places three three oh so castle me i've never i've never even been to the castle before <laughs> so she has even bypassed me meanwhile the castle is just at the back of my house can you imagine we are against the sun but that's just how It can be. Have you been here? No. Not been here. Okay. So today will be your first time. Your first time at the Black Star Square. You were asking me something. What were you asking? No. Wait, what? No. You were saying something. You were asking a question about the square. That place. What were you saying? How can you forget? Say it. You've not forgotten. You are shy. Say what you were saying. <laughs> Guys, he was asking me whether that is the place they've been doing. Uh, they've been marching every since of March on Independence Day. Alright guys, so she wants to take some pictures. So I'm just bringing her here to take the pictures. Then we proceed to the market. Today is actually Monday. She refused to go to school. So I'm just using that opportunity to bring it there. Bring it there and then we go to the bookshop in Makola to get her one of the textbooks. I'll just get her one because ah, they are expensive. Oh. I cannot get her two today. So this is the Black Star Square. And this is where the stars are and that is the arc. I don't really know the difference between them but this is how the place is looking very beautiful very very beautiful you can see men at work they are still putting the place in order renovating it to make it as beautiful as it's supposed to be so that when you guys come you will actually feel at home and take nice pictures yeah let me bring the man here hello sir good morning all right so we'll be taking some pictures this thing has a name oh. they mentioned the name for me the last time is it let me ask the man hello sir please the top there what is it called the top the monument this place is called the black star Act. ah this is the black stars Act. okay what about the square. Uh, this is the square. Okay, all right. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> but the last time I came, there was one guy there who told me, like, the top there is called the countryside. This place is called the countryside. The top there. Oh, okay. But the one here right now is saying that this place is the Black Stars Arc. And the one we have there where they have been marching is called the black star square anyway they all look beautiful we are just here to take pictures but right now the direction of the sun is against you know the background that we really want to take the pictures from you know this is the sun you can see how bright it is it is up and scorchy today is uh you know one of the first day in a very long time that the sun is so shiny like most of the days gone were really really like very favorable weather conditions like 
calm it is not sunny and it is not also rainy okay it was just a cloudy kind of weather and it was you know very very much convenient for going about the day's activity but anyways we are not complaining we still need a sun hi thank you the pictures how much is one hey all right we'll think about it okay thank you okay we'll think about it guys you know Ghana is hard oh Ghana is hard <laughs> hey baby she's looking so pretty give me 360 that is the outfit of the day how are you feeling in the outfit eh? <laughs> sashay for us sashay for us <laughs> Come, 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 come. Wow, you are looking so good. Wow, oh, you look so pretty in your glasses. Oh my goodness, this thing really suits your face. You look like you are not from this world at all. You are from another planet. Very beautiful. <laughs> How are you feeling? Guys, this morning she was complaining about her tummy. Mm -hmm. and, and I was asking her what's wrong with it. Even initially, she didn't even want to tell me what was wrong with her. And I was worried. She was just sitting down, like very moody. What is wrong with you? She will not tell me. When she does that, I also become very worried because, you know, ah, I just want her to be comfortable, as comfortable as she should be okay i don't want to be a bad auntie i want to be the sweetest auntie ever <laughs> so i'm always looking out for her but she's like sometimes very reserved she doesn't want to tell me what is wrong with her sometimes she feels like she doesn't want to talk to me even she'll just be there <laughs> what do you think about this place i can't hear you the place is nice it's and nice and clean and beautiful i really love the flowers mm -hmm. give us some you know do it you are doing it <laughs> sachet oh this girl <laughs> you have now migrated from the village to accra so what is your experience here in accra how do you see accra mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. look in the camera i'm not coming the camera i'm not coming all right, come and tell me your first day in school. What was your experience at school on your first day? Your experience at school on, on your first your first day at school. What was your experience? <laughs> mm? uh -huh. What was your experience? How do people treat you? They treat you well. Yeah. Why? Next time you go back. Huh? Guys, I want to put her on the spot. She has to talk. Me, I was like her. Even now, I'm still like her when I'm amongst people. But I, I don't want her to have that kind of uh, social anxiety that I have. So I'm putting her on the spot. She has to talk. Even now, it's only the camera. Oh. There's nothing about she's refusing to talk, which I don't really understand. Mm? It's only the camera. We are not leaving until she talks. <laughs> until she talks. Have you had any challenges um, walking to school? You haven't. Have you gotten lost before? <laughs> you got lost. <laughs> Who is your friend in school? 
What's their name or his name? Have you made any friends? Jennifer and Sarah, are they brilliant students? Do you learn together? Huh? Don't lie, or do you do group studies? Okay, that's what you have to do when you go to school. You have to befriend those who are very brilliant and they are interested in learning. Those who can teach you something, okay? Or those that you, you can also help, like they are ready to learn and what you also know best you sit down the stars and you teach each other you do group studies that's the only way you can actually retain whatever you have studied at school in, in, in your head right so those are some of the things you have to be doing i told you don't go and befriend just anybody befriend people that you can learn from the, the subjects that you have challenges in you be close to somebody who knows how to do those subjects very well so that they can help you so that you can also help them in the subjects that you are also good in that is how we learn so what can you say about the black star square you were telling me something about the black star square is that what you were seeing on tv and what you see here what's the difference right now as you are seeing it live here in accra every jungle camera <laughs> eh? It's the same. You told me that on TV there's a difference. What is the difference? Outside the camera, you were telling me that there was a difference. Tell me. Is it that you cannot say it? You can't say it. You said on TV it looks big, but here it looks smaller. Is that something you can't say? Hey. Is that how you behave when they are asking you questions at school? Hmm? Is that how you behave in school? How do you behave? Do you read in class? You read. So is that how you behave and read in class? Hey, Jesus. Guys, hey, me, I'm shy, but I've never seen this kind of thing before. I've never seen it. Me, I'm very shy. I won't be lie to you. But uh, they said, well, fake it till you make it. It's not like I'm faking anything in terms of what I have or what I do not have. I'm just faking it in terms of speaking, right? I do write very well, but when it comes to speaking, you know, I'm always fumbling. But I'm just trying my best. You know, that is why I find this avenue as a platform for me to build my confidence that is one of the reasons i like to do this because i'm so so shy hmm? yeah let's take the pictures i've talked a lot she has made me talked enough yeah. okay so this is my outfit you can see this is my design so if you guys need some I just not allow huh? the plane will not allow me you okay, guys so this is the outfit it's an african wear made from our local kente fabric you understand it looks so cute i prefer to use this instead of uh, jeans i'll use it as a substitute for jean trousers right it's it's really comfortable it's really comfortable and this is how everything looks let me do my walk again. She said she will not do it. <laughs> Guys, we wanted to go to this side because the sun is here. This place, the sun is just against us. But due to the constructions there, we have to stand here. Oh my god. Hi, how are you? Hi. Um, welcome to Ghana. Thank okay. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, how long have you been in Ghana? Um, for a few days. A few days. Which country are you coming from? Uh, Egypt. Egypt? Egypt, Wow! Yes. <laughs> we are all Africans. All so Africans. I'm so glad to meet you here Me in too. Ghana. Okay, so being in Ghana for some few days, like three days? Uh, it has been five days now five and i'm leaving now. on friday okay living in egypt when you hear the name ghana what comes to mind what was your perception football 
football. Yes, and the second thing came to my mind, uh, Fathia Halim, the, the wife of the first president. Uh, of, of Ghana. Kwame Nkrumah. Wow, Nkrumah. one of my favorites. Like yeah. that is our favorite. But the basically, oh, and yes, and the gold too, because the first memory of Ghana uh -huh. when I was a kid, uh -huh. when I firstly know about Ghana, I know about the traditional attire of Ghanaian. Okay. And also the gold that uh, Ghana is full of gold. Okay. So right now coming to Ghana, what were your some of your first impressions? Uh, people are really nice here. Yeah, very hospitable. Okay. Yeah. Have you had any challenges getting around with the people? Sometimes, um, as any place in the world, they sometimes might take advantage of you as a tourist. But this happens everywhere. In okay. Egypt, in, in, in everywhere. So it doesn't have to do with Ghana. It's just everywhere. Tasted any food yet? Yes, I... Uh, <laughs> Um, I tried um, you know what? the thing that very close to a banana, but it's not banana. What is it? Plantain. Plantain. Was it roasted was or fried. Cooked? fried plantain? Okay. Fried plantain. <laughs> All right. How how was the taste? Did you like it? Yes, it's different, and I like it. Uh, and also, I tried a, a lot of food, but I don't recall the names. Okay. But, uh, but like um. I tried a fried rice, uh, I tried um, fish, fishes cooked in the Ghanaian uh, okay. traditional way, also chicken cooked in the traditional way with vegetables and stuff. All right. Very okay. delicious. Also a bit uh, tasteful like Egypt, like the food we have. Here, the fish? No, 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 the chicken. You the chicken, in okay, a, in yeah, a, in yeah. A, in, a, in a very close way like my mom used to. Do oh, wow, it. okay. Yeah. Also, yeah. I had other stuff that I didn't have the, the time to try, but we'll see in the coming days. <laughs> okay, so have you visited any sightseeing place yet? So today is my first sightseeing okay. in Accra because mm -hmm. I was staying in the outskirts of Accra. Uh, but Today it's my uh, officially the first day in Accra itself, but I have been around in the outskirts of Accra. All right. So far, what do you love most about Ghana? Um, the natural places. I am surprised that Ghana has a lot of mountains uh -huh. uh, with the greenery mountains. Uh -huh. So this surprised me. Okay. I didn't know that. Wow. Okay. I and hope also, you enjoy. I, 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 it's still on my list to make it to Wali Waterfall. What? W Wally waterfall. Wally waterfall. waterfall. Okay. Yeah, yeah, on the borders between Togo and Togo. Uh, oh, okay. You've been there. No, no, no. Not you are yet. now still on my list. Okay. Inshallah, I can go before I leave. All right. Nice okay. to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. 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 bye.